What's up, y'all? It's your girl. You feel me? Fleek by Aaliyah. Oh, girl. Listen, go ahead. Did no. Fleek by Aaliyah. Aaliyah is how you pronounce my name. Welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be my first thoughts and a look on the Jaclyn Hill palette that she did with Morphe. It's such a beautiful palette, you guys. Like, I died when she swatched this on her channel. Like, look at it. Just look at the colors. Look how it's laid out. It's so perfect. It's almost like, wow, this is the perfect palette. And honestly, it's about time an influencer came out with a palette this good. Like, no shade. But they just be coming out with ashy palettes and just the same neutral shades, you feel me? But look, look at the versatility of this palette. You have your colors, you have your neutral colors you have transition shades you have six transition shades you have smoky eyes you have cranberry eyes you have pink toned eyes like you can make you can use this for work you can use this to go out to the club to be extra like this palette is so versatile and i want to showcase its versatility by doing a series of looks with this palette because it's so it's so beautiful like I just know right off the bat this is gonna be my go-to palette the only palette that goes with me on trips like it literally has everything you need you want to do a smoky eye you have a black you have a dark brown wait I'm just kidding that's dark purple you have a dark brown you have deep shades like you have a smoky green eye you want to do a neutral eye you have these shades right here you want to do a bronzy smoky eye you have these shades right here you want to do a pink toned look you have the shades right here and the way she organized the shades and how they're next to each other and how they're cohesive on the palette is just perfect it's so beautiful she really spent so much time and you can tell like I was watching her tutorial um, of how she not not her tutorial her like first look at her palette and she was just so excited and it was just so touching to see someone so excited about the work that they put out. And that's why I just don't have it in me to find a flaw in a palette when I know someone put their all into it. She said she spent over two years on this palette. Like, how can I really pick apart a palette when somebody just put their all into it? So that's not really what I'm going to do. Um, this palette is just so beautiful. So I'm going to swatch them real quick if you want to see the swatches. And then we're going to get into the tutorial. I will say the only flaw... I see in this palette the only flaw and I just don't want to pick out any flaws but you know how Jacqueline gave these shades names well they're just nowhere on the palette like they're nowhere like I don't know what they're called I mean I know she has her names but she should have like what on where'd that thing go the palette came with like a plastic flimsy thing so I feel like the names should have been on here but they weren't so that's the only thing i have to say that i first like recognized right off the bat is like the names aren't on here but that's about it let's get into the swatches and then let's get into this look okay so i swatched from wait is this left yes i swatched from left to right and here is the first row here is the first row on my arm i can tell you right now that the last two shades are my favorite like they're both like rose gold shades but one is more salmony than the other i think i swatched these a little too far on my arm but these two aren't showing up on my skin because they are damn near my skin color so that's why you don't really see them i'm swatching it on my skin complexion this isn't on a white arm okay here is the second row from left to right is how i swatch them so here are the swatches i can tell you for this one i had to swatch it a couple times um only because it kind of blended in with my skin but these two shimmer shades are so beautiful one is like brick red and one is gold the shimmer shades are so buttery and they swatch beautifully the first time like i only had to dip my finger in once and pigment was there this one you can't really see, it kind of blended in with my skin tone, you feel me? But again, like I said, this on brown skin is not on white skin. Alright, this is definitely the burgundy row. Like, you can create the most beautiful burgundy smoky eye with this row. And here are the swatches. Like, Jacqueline was right, each, each, like, shadow has its own unique formula. And this shadow, oh my gosh, beautiful. This beautiful, these swatched beautifully. 
and look at that burgundy it's so pigmented like this is the most beautiful row like it has just the perfect shades for like a burgundy smoky eye all right this is the fourth to last row with the beautiful purple and royal blue um shades and just look look at that purple look at this blue they're almost like sister shadows like they have the same undertone um, but beautiful and then they have like the cool tone taupe color for our cool tone that this shadow had like um loose finely milled glitter in it which is pretty cool but like no fallout which i was like okay how that was a cool formula and then these two beautiful shades like oh the pigmentation yo morphe has set the bar like they can't retract after this okay and finally the last row and oh my gosh this shimmery like emerald green is so beautiful here's the one i used or i'm using today um but wow it's so beautiful and this is actually a very deep dark purple like wow and look at this black this black i just love how it tradient tradients <laughs> i love how it like goes from greens dark greens to like purples because i feel like they're complementary to each other just beautiful look at the pigmentation like she did such a good job on this palette it's so beautiful oh yes hello canvas my face is beat if you guys want like a face tutorial let me know it is updated i have like some new techniques and methods that I've been doing to get, you know, this beautiful, perfect canvas. But let's get into this eye look. Okay, so I was watching Love and Hip Hop the other day, you know, catching up on episodes. And y'all know Estelita, Stevie J's new Panamanian goddess artist. Well, when she was like eating with Mimi, she had on this beautiful emerald um, halo eye. And it was so beautiful. I was like, bitch, I have to do that. I have to recreate that with Jacqueline's palette. And this palette is so beautiful. Just, oh, yes. Just, it's just so sleek. I love it. So first, let's do a brow bone highlight. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's see which one is like brow bone highlight approved. Okay, so I'm going to take my Morphe M208 brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here honestly you guys i'm gonna be like really showcasing this palette so i can have a nice instagram video like just being honest you feel me i'm gonna i don't know what this color is because i know jacqueline named these colors but they're like nowhere on the palette like it's not on the packaging so i don't know what the colors are called i wish she was on the palette because i know she really took the time to name these colors but I honestly don't see them on the palette. Okay, it's actually showing up on my brown ass skin. It's kind of like a satin matte, but it has low key has shimmer in it. It's like, but very subtle shimmer. But I can tell you right off the bat, these colors are so buttery, like wow. With my Morphe 350, that one cream shade that I always use, I have to really pack that shit on in order for it to like show up. This, I was honestly so excited for this palette only because Jacqueline was excited. And just seeing her excitement, it just is like, okay, this palette is the shit. She put her all into this palette. Like she's so excited about this palette, which is making me excited about this palette. So I just have to have the palette. Let's just blend that out just so it's not just chilling on the brow bone oh wow it blends beautifully i love a very dramatic and snatched brow bone i don't know it just makes you look even more snatched and by the way this blending brush is an elizabeth mott blending brush i believe i got it in an ipsy glam bag but i will definitely link it okay brow bone highlights on and i'll look a little funky right now but let's do a transition shade so i'm going to take a morphe r38 brush just a blending brush let's see what should i go in with we're going to do like an emerald oh my gosh these colors are so beautiful okay um what do i i just want to transition with something light so i'm going to go in with this shade right here i wish i knew what it was called like why how come jacqueline didn't put the names in here i want to like name it 
you really just lay transition shades down so the other colors you lay down blend more easily I think that's really the point of a transition shade also the point of it it's for a gradient effect but I don't really want that today but I do just want to lay it down because I don't know how the green is gonna act you feel me letting you guys know now this is definitely going to be my go-to palette the colors are just like what more could you ask for in a palette honestly that really blended right in no problems at all that was actually a beautiful transition shade like that's okay let's get into uh, the, what I really want to do okay so the only matte I'm just going to use the only matte color shade that she put in here I think well, no, she put a dark green in here. Let's see, what do I want to use? I'm going to use the Morphe M167. It's a flat top brush just so I can pack on that color. And I'm going to be taking this beautiful, it's kind of like an emerald teal kind of, kind, of, kind of color. Oh my gosh. It's not all the way emerald, but it's more on the teal side. But you feel me? It's just a beautiful sea green color, honestly. So I'm going to take this shade. And that is what we're going to use for our emerald halo eye. I really like how the colors don't have a lot of kickback. Usually when you're messing with... Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Usually when you're messing with colors with high pigment, they have a lot of kickback. They're chalky. When you put your brush into the color, a bunch of color like flies and dusts up. That's what I mean by kickback. But this is actually pretty good. Like, I'm just dabbing my brush into the color. Girl! Girl, oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh gosh, I love this color. Since I'm doing a halo eye, I'm just focusing the color on the outer corner of my eye and then on the inner corner. And then, in the middle of my eye, I'm going to lay down one of these gold pigments that she has in here. Oh my gosh, and then when you layer it on top, it just gets even more pigmented. Yes, Jacqueline. This is going to be my go-to palette. Focus it right on the outer corner. And we're going to begin blending it out. Just want to keep this really tight in. Okay, I've noticed when you're blending out the color, it shears out a little bit. Just a little bit like some of the color or the pigment dusts away that's no problem though we can still pack it on let's go in with a cleaner blending brush this is a Morphe G17 again it has the same bristle or type of bristles that my other blending brush had which I love I don't really like the way this is blending out honestly beautiful pigment beautiful pigment maybe I'm doing something funky like I don't know I don't really like the way it's blending out but packing it on it's beautiful I need to go in with a more precise brush I'm gonna take this Morphe R41 it's a precise crease brush I have a problem with like color sticking or even shadows in general sticking to my lower lash line so maybe this will be different Blending away like kind of splotchy, like I'm kind of sad. Like, is it my base? What? Is it my base? I swore I laid down a very good base. It's okay, let's complete the eye. Girl, done got some on my damn lip. Okay, so I wanted to keep this tight, but the way it blended out, it just like sheared all the way out and I didn't really want for that to happen, but it's okay. The pigment is really there. Like it looks beautiful. Like this shade is beautiful. I just didn't really like how it blended out. I wanted to keep it tight, but it's okay. It, it uh, what do you call it? It's a now a blown out halo eye. So let me go do the other eye and then we will, we gonna dip into the gold shimmer shades that are in here that are so beautiful 
Okay, so my thoughts on this emerald teal kind of color, it's really just a color you pack on for pigment. Once you blend it out, it blends out a little sheer, but a little funky too. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little splotchy in this area. Like, it wasn't like a smooth blend, you feel me? I don't know, I'm just... I really hate the way it blended out like I'm kind of sad because this color is so pretty I laid down a transition shade but I don't know it blended out kind of splotchy and I'm kind of sad like no I don't even want to restart because no we're just gonna move on it's okay I did the best that I could as far as blending it seamlessly and everything and I just had to it went a it went out a little too far but it's okay Moving on, there's one gold shade in here and then one like cool gold shade. So let me show you them. Okay, so here's like a very warm fall type of gold shade and this one's more of a cool toned gold shade. It's more of like a grayish tone. This one, let's see, which one do I wanna use? Let me actually swatch real quick. Oh my gosh, beautiful. One quick swatch and that's how it looks. Like, wow. That's the cool toned one beautiful yes look at that gold is, my, is it focusing yes bitch now we're gonna use that one the one on my ring finger that's beautiful I'm gonna tr first try it without any you feel me primer mist I'm just taking this Eagle Tools flat shader brush or whatever let's just do one swipe Oh, it's hers pigmented. Okay, yes, pigmented. Let's do it again. Oh, yes, without any misting of the brush, it's actually very pigmented. And it's very smooth and buttery. And there's like no fallout. This is beautiful. But I do want it to pop a little more, you feel me? So I am going to. I'm going to miss my brush with my hard candy. Uh, setting no primer mist I love this stuff and it has like a sticky feel so I know this uh, pigment will stick right to the damn brush oh yeah this is beautiful oh yeah oh girl yes yes I love gold too if y'all didn't know gold is my favorite color you feel me and this is beautiful it is a little warm, so I do want to cool it down just a little bit. But let me... Stop calling me. Let me blend her out. Or blend her in. Whichever you want to... Let me add a little more of that green. This gold is beautiful. Yes, but I want a little bit of a cool tone. Wait, what about this pink though? It's like a pink. Ah, so pretty. I think I'm gonna put that. I wanna, yes, make it a rose gold kind of vibe. Oh yep, there we go. Okay, the shimmers are the shit. This is actually just there's actually a rose gold shade in here. It's this one. It's so pretty. Right the fuck here. Yes, beautiful. I'm gonna do so many looks with this palette. Like I'm so excited. Like I'm living for the versatility that, that I can see in this palette. It's so versatile. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that pigment of the shimmer is unreal. I damn near am looking like a damn gecko. I like halo eyes. They make the eyes look youthful. I don't know how to describe it, but I love I love halo eyes. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay. I love it. Oh my gosh, and they have a burgundy shade in here. This palette is everything. Okay, hold on. Let's move on. So I can like give my full final thoughts and whatever. I'm just gonna apply some mascara. I'm taking the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. <laughs> the way this blended out is like getting on my nerves, honestly. Let me go get some powder.
okay that kind of fixed it yeah I don't really like the way that blended out or how far it went I'm just gonna counteract it with some powder you feel me the black radiance sad it blended out that way I'm very sad but life goes on let's continue beautiful I love it I love halo eyes they're so pretty Ugh. it's my scare coming out ugly for lashes, I'm going to apply my favorites at the moment. Y'all know I've been using them in a lot of videos. They are the Bahi Cosmetics Giselle Lashes. And you can save 10% at Bahi Cosmetics by using my code Dahomey if you decide to go over there. They do a lot of restocking, you feel me? Usually on Fridays. Okay, so I applied some lashes and some bottom mascara. So now let's just um, highlight our inner corner and then finish off the face. Let's see, let's see, inner corner. Let's just go back in with the pink shade I used, the pink shimmer shade, right here. So beautiful. And I'm taking a Morphe M431 and just putting that right in my inner corner. The gold shade is a little too deep for an inner corner shade, so I don't wanna put that one in there. Yes, come through. The thing about shimmer shades is they fade on me. They always fade throughout the day. So I'm gonna see if these ones fade. Not on the lid, on the lower lash line. I can never get shadow to stick or stay all day on my lower lash line, no matter what I do. Like I'll, I'll like today, I didn't set my concealer right like under my eye where I'm gonna put shadow to see if like shadows would just stick better. So we'll see. Yes, I love it. Yes, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Despite, you know, this not blending the way I wanted to, this is a beautiful eye look. I love it, I love halo eyes. They just look so youthful. I don't know how to describe it. And they open up your eyes like very well. Okay. Let's finish off the face and then I will give my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, to first highlight my cheekbones, I'm gonna start off with this highlighting shade from the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in light to medium. And I'm taking a Morphe M510 brush. I just love laying this down first. I don't know, my highlights just look better. And I just kinda highlight in a C all the way up to, you know, that arch. I was about to say, I don't know what I was about to say. Anyways, the arches of my brows. I just feel like that looks so beautiful when it hits the light. Like, yes, just light. I have to be careful with this highlighting shade because it gets a little too deep. Okay, that's it, just a light layer. And then I'm gonna go in with ColourPop's Churro Highlighter. Y'all know, this is my favorite highlighter right here. Like, I love this highlighter so much. And I'm just gonna go right over top of it. And when I do this, I just feel like it makes churl look way better. And it looks more wet. I love a wet highlight. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my chin. Yes. Ooh, you see that forehead glow? Yes, okay. And for my nose, cutest bow, you fizz naive. I'm gonna take this Morphe, no, I'm just kidding. Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I'm taking the highlighting shade with a Real Techniques eyeshader brush, whatever it's called, I don't know, it came in a kit. If y'all been to Ulta and you go down the Real Techniques aisle, you know what kit I'm talking about. I'm just going to highlight my nose. So lastly, let's put some blush on. Now I like blush, okay? Like blush, I like blush now, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take this Tarte blush. It's the 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in the shade Natural Beauty with a Morphe MB4 brush. I'm just very lightly because this blush is pigmented. And then just put it on my cheekbones. I only like matte blushes though. I feel like Shimmer blushes just coincide with your highlighter. You feel me? And it just looks like you have too much shimmer going on on your cheeks. So that's why I don't really like shimmer blushes. Unless I was like absolutely wearing no makeup, then I could fuck with shimmer blushes. But other than that, no. 
Yes, I love how it just makes me look like I have a natural flush. Okay, and I'm trying a new setting spray today. I actually picked up two. I picked up the Wet n Wild setting spray and the Milani Make It Dewy spray, but I wanna try the Milani Make It Dewy spray today. Like, yes, I love drugstore setting sprays. Like, I love, I love that uh, drugstore brands are coming out with setting sprays, primer mist, basically what high-end brands carry. I like that drugstore brands are coming out with them because then I can save some coin, you know? Okay, automatically, I like how refreshing this smells. And two, I like the way it sprays out. Yes! Okay, for a lip, I just want to go with my mauve nude lip that I usually wear. So first, I'm going to start off with the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Tuscany. Alright, and then I'm going to mix it with the Tarte um, Tardiest Lip Paint in Bestie. I love the color that these two lips, liquid lipsticks make. Like, this is like my favorite mauve nude. Okay, and y'all know it's summer, and what comes with summer? Glossy lips. Ugh, I love glossy lips. So I'm gonna take this Kali Cosmetics Cocoa Lip Gloss in Zam Gina. <laughs> Okay, let me go throw on some earrings to like pull the look together and then I'm going to give my final thoughts. Yes, I feel like something is missing, but I can't really put my finger on it. Tell me, like you let me know, like something is missing. I don't know what it is. But anyways, this completes the first of several looks I'm going to be doing with this palette. I can tell you right now, this is gonna be my go-to. And I'll tell you why it's gonna be my go-to. Because one, look at it. If you divide the palette into like segments, hold on, let me like, okay, so divide the palette into segments. If I cover this side, hold on, oh shit, almost hit me in the face. If I cover this side and this side and we just use these nine shades like in this little quadrant over here, that could be your go-to neutral shade of the palette. If we do this and just cover this and this, so we're just looking at these bottom nine shades in this quadrant. That could be like your colorful, cool toned, or warm because of this shade. This shade right there is kind of warm. You could just finesse a look with those nine shadows. If we move on to this side, this is like a very warm, red toned, you feel me, neutral side. Like I like to split palettes into quadrants, you feel me? Like, look at just those shades right there. You can do a bronzy, smoky eye with those. You can do a neutral eye with these. You can do a colorful eye with these. You can do a very deep, smoky eye with these shades. Like, there are red tones, pink tones, warm tones, a few cool tones. There are deep shades. There's a black shade. There's a colorful shade for when you want to have a pop of color. Four are provided and then this very deep, forest green shade for like a very forest green smoky eye you can really just divide this palette up into like segments and work with those segments because I know palettes with a lot of colors can be overwhelming and you don't know where to start what look to do but I can tell you these shades right here are transition shades like I would use these for transitions these two are brow bone highlights uh, only two are provided but I can tell you that they would work for a lot of skin tones um, but you have a lot of neutral um, transition shades to work with. You have six. Like, palettes don't even give you six transition shades. You have deep shades right here to deepen the crease. Boom, boom, boom. Like, you can create so many different eye looks with this palette. It's like, this is going to be my go-to palette. This is probably going to be the only palette I, palette I take with me on trips because when I fly or when I travel I don't really want to take a lot of eyeshadows because one they fucking break and I don't want to like break every eyeshadow palette I have from flying like I just I kind of like to fly simply or travel simply I just want to bring like my staple products with me when I travel and I feel like this will be the palette I travel with just look at it 
it's perfect like look at it it's perfect i'm just looking at it i can create so many looks so you guys when i create my looks i want to create dramatic and simple like i want the person who works at the office to be able to create a look by watching my tutorial when i create this or when i create a look with this palette so i got you guys i know a few of you asked me to do looks that are very simple with eyeshadow for like work or interviews i got y'all okay um but yeah overall i like this palette so much the only thing is this shade right here um it's basically just good for packing on like blending it out i don't know it didn't work too well when i did it and i am a blending queen like i really blend shadows very well just so they're very seamless but i just didn't like the way it blended out it blended out kind of sheer too fast and it just went everywhere like y'all know in the beginning i really wanted just to keep it tight so i packed it in tight but when i went to go blend it it just went a little too far out so i didn't really like that um but all in all when you pack on this emerald shade or this teal shade whatever you want to call it it has phenomenal pigment like i didn't even have to wet my brush i didn't have to have a sticky you know eyeshadow base it really stuck it really stuck to the base that i had which was just concealer and translucent powder which is what i use all the time but this palette is so beautiful the only thing i didn't like about this palette is that i know jacqueline named these shades but they're like nowhere on the palette they're nowhere in the box like i looked inside the box to see if there was like a little paper that gave the names but there were no names and i know like she really got excited about the names of this of these shades but they're like nowhere here but i think morphe really set the bar for themselves with this palette like because because they reformulated everything and the shadows are really good so i feel like i know they want to remain an affordable makeup brand but because they set the bar with this palette people are going to want to expect this formula with all of their shadows so if they're gonna have to increase the price of their palettes they're gonna have to increase the price but i feel like they set the bar like with this formula like the formulas of these shadows are so good and you can't have one palette with good pigmentation and good formulas and then have the rest of your palettes not meet that standard so i think from now on I think they should start making their shadows with this formula that they made for Jacqueline's palette just because it set the bar like once you improve and once you set the bar you can't you can't like retract you can't like what do you call it you can't uh, go here and then start going here like you have to keep raising the bar and they raised the bar with this palette this palette is so good the layout is so good the way the colors are organized is so cohesive it's so pleasing to the eye um it's beautiful you can create so many looks this is for a simple bitch this is for an extra bitch this is for someone who really just loves smoky eyes because i know jacqueline loves smoky eyes that's like her staple signature look uh, me i could do anything and i like that i can do anything like oh you can create the perfect just bronzy smoky eye which is think something I want to try next. You can create a cranberry eye, like you have everything. You can create a green smoky eye right here, like it's all laid out for you. This is definitely, I feel like this palette should have came out in the fall. Just because this palette kind of has like a fall vibe, you know? But I love it, it's so beautiful. And those are my final thoughts. And if you watch this far into my video, I do want to give a palette away. I bought an extra one just so i can give it to someone who really wants this palette who's really passionate about makeup or whatever the case may be i really just want to gift one of the homies with a brand new palette this one is unopened i'll even prove it to you this one is open this one is mine so to win this palette this is what i want you to do i'm gonna require you guys to do a little bit of work you know because this palette is is a like a limited edition one-of-a-kind palette um and it's very high in demand right now so i want you guys to okay so whenever i upload a video i post it on twitter if you guys don't follow me on twitter it's going to be linked below i always link my social medias below so just check my description box to go to my twitter page so every time i post a video 
I post like it on Twitter. So I'm going to pin the post that I post about this video onto my Twitter page and I want you guys to one, screenshot that you are subscribed to me um, and two, I want you to recreate any look of mine that you want to. The only thing you cannot recreate is my very, very simple looks. You cannot create the glossy lid look and you can't create the one I did which was my carefree black girl look. Those are too easy. Yes, they are. So I want you guys to create any look I've done except for those two. The glossy lid look and the one I just did. The carefree black girl look. P put them in the same tweet and then reply to the tweet that's pinned to my Twitter and then post it underneath that tweet. Please do it only in one tweet and please only enter one time. And I'm not um, looking for skill. I don't care how good you are at blending shadow. I don't care. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for effort and I'm looking to see who really wants the palette. I think I'll let it last a week to give you guys time to like sit down and recreate the look. But for this giveaway, I just wanted you guys to do a little bit of work. You feel me? Just a little bit. I don't think it's that hard. You can um, but thank you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for loving me. This is only one of many looks that are to come with this palette. I love this palette so much. Um, but I will see you in my next tutorial. And while you're here, you feel me? Catch another one of my videos. Like, why would you only want to watch this one? Like, come on, I got other content up. You feel me? Um, I don't know which video is going to be here, but you feel me? Watch another one of my videos. Chill, relax. You feel me? Enjoy my channel. I have a lot of content up. Um, you can hit my icon, my beautiful icon, to subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next tutorial.